I have good news and I have bad news. The good news is that you don't really have to worry about weight gain from your vacation. The bad news is that you do have to worry about weight gain from your vacation. What a guan. For those who don't speak Jamaican Patois, let's say, hey, what's up? After we go over the good news and the bad news, I'm going to show you nine ways you can make sure your bad news story instead becomes a good news story. I'll give you a hint. During two out of my last three vacations, I consumed four to 5,000 calories every day and I lost one to two pounds. In the third vacation, I didn't lose or gain any weight. First, the good news. Traveling to warmer destinations, eating saltier foods, eating more carbs than usual will make your body retain water. This extra water makes the numb on the scale go up, even though you haven't actually gained any fat. In addition, you also have the physical weight of the ex food traveling through your digestive system for at least 48 hours. Plus, you usually walk a lot more on vacation and can burn an extra 1,000 to 2,000 calories doing this, which makes fat gain less likely. But the person that's already fit, works out, and eats healthy, as their metabolism is operating at a normal or optimal level, when they come back from vacation and get back to their regular routine of eating healthy and working out, after a couple of days or a week or so, this excess water weight will disappear. Now the bad news. Suppose you want to just rest on vacation, or you're already overweight and you end up eating and drinking an extra two, three, four thousand extra calories per day, then you're definitely going to put on some fat. Now, how are we going to turn this potential bad news into good news? We're going to use science and some common sense. Here are nine tips that if you follow, I guarantee you, you won't gain fat on your vacation. First, we're going to use a supplement called bitter melon extract. People have been successfully using bitter melon for centuries to help control blood sugar levels, thus lowering the risk that their bodies store the food they just ate as fat. There are many studies showing its effectiveness. Here is one from the National Institute of Health. I recommend an organic version sold by Himalayan Foods. I've used this for years successfully, especially when I was pre-diabetic. I'll put a link to this in the show notes below. You can take this supplement 30 to 60 minutes before a large carb meal. Now, if you are diabetic or pre-diabetic or taking medications to control your blood sugar, then you should consult with your doctor before taking bitter melon extract because it really does work. Tip number two, going for an easy 15 to 20 minute walk immediately after eating meals has been shown to help control blood sugar levels and thus lowers the risk of your body storing the food you just ate as fat. Here are two studies from the National Institute of Health about this. Now, if you can't go for a walk immediately after eating, hanging out at the bar, for example, the next best thing is to stand for at least 30 minutes. In PubMed, which is a respected database from the National Institute of Health, you'll find a study looking at individuals who had just eaten lunch and found that those who stood after eating had significantly lower blood sugar spikes than those who remained seated. Now, number three, the apple picker struggle. Drink alcohol or splurge on food, but you can't do both at the same time if you want to avoid getting fat. So if you're at the pool in the day, enjoy those alcoholic drinks, but don't do dessert at lunch. In fact, go easy on the carbs at lunch. If you want to do dessert at dinner, then don't have that glass or several glasses of wine. You're still having a great time, right? Now this is very important because your body will always, this is a medical fact, use the alcohol you drink for energy before it uses either the glucose from the carbs you consume like rice or the lipids from fat that you consume from fat in the dessert when this happens the excess glucose and lipids end up being stored as fat so what you don't want the other tip is you got to drink strategically in addition to the problems i just mentioned alcohol has two other big problems you want to minimize or just avoid altogether the more you drink the drunker you get <laughs> the drunker you get the more likely you are to get hungry this is medical fact again there are several studies that show that alcohol has this effect on our brains here is one from the national institute of health so if you're drinking and you know you ate recently, you're not really hungry. Depending on the type of alcohol you drink is another problem. You can pile up those calories really quickly, especially those tasty cocktails that people love to drink on vacation. For example, a margarita can have as many as 740 calories. So just two of them could become 1400 calories, three of them over 2100 calories and so on and so on. Therefore, I recommend picking one time of the day to drink. Have a couple of drinks at the pool or a couple of glasses at wine at dinner. And to turbocharge this strategy, avoid the cocktail drinks altogether, which are usually filled with sugary syrups. Instead, pick lower calorie options. For example, tequila, 100 calories, vodka soda, 100 calories, whiskey, 
100 calories. Champagne, 75 to 100 calories. Bloody Mary, 150 calories. Gin and tonic, my personal favorite, 170 calories. Before we get into tip number five, if you like what you've heard so far and found this video useful, then help me to help even more people by hitting the like and subscribe buttons on the screen. Also hit the notifications bell so that YouTube will let you know when I release new videos. Tip number five, drink lots of water. It's very easy and very common to mistake thirst for hunger, especially if you're in a tropical environment. Drinking a lot of water will also help with some of the alcohol issues I just discussed. Drink enough water to ensure your urine is a light yellow. For many people, that's roughly your body weight in ounces of water each day. Tip number six, use the scale. When you wake up in the morning, jump on the scale in your hotel room. In a 2019 study in the journal Obesity, the group that weighed themselves daily maintained or lost weight. Don't have a scale in your room? Many hotels will provide you one if you ask. And if they don't have any, there's still a chance that the hotel gym or the spa has a skill. Tip number seven. Late night eating is very common on vacations. Whenever this occurs, I recommend simply fasting for 12 hours after your last meal. For example, if you finish eating a late meal at midnight, wait until lunchtime the next day at 12 p.m. to eat brunch. This fasting for 12 hours helps regulate your hunger hormones and increase your metabolism, i.e. fat burning ability. Tip number eight. Starting each meal with a salad and or healthy soup will help you to eat smaller meals, thus consuming less calories. Now, before I give you my last and most common sense tip to follow, please leave a comment below in the comment section to let me know what you thought of this video and what videos you'd like to see me make in the future. I always read the comments and maybe I'll choose your idea. You never know. Tip number nine, last but not least, use the hotel gym. This is common sense. Think about it. While you may have to drive to your gym back home, on vacation, you just put on some workout clothes and walk from your hotel room to the gym, which is always close by. And your schedule is wide open. So you can work out any time of the day. Even just 20 minutes is better than zero minutes. If you can't remember all nine of these tips and didn't take notes, just rewatch the video. Think about it. When you're in school, you took notes, right? You reread them and you reread your textbooks. You just had a one-on-one -on -one lesson with me. And the final exam is coming up. And in this exam, you want to get an A. If you follow all nine of these tips, you'll enjoy your vacation and you will not gain any weight. You won't get fat. I promise you. So later's my massive. For those who don't speak Jamaican Patois, that's goodbye my people.